Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dustin, and today we're going to be doing some more Warframe. I know, crazy, we've been doing this whole Warframe kick recently. Um, I personally have really enjoyed it in my spare time, just playing it. Uh, as of today, I believe, I'm going to check my account uh, profile, but I believe I have over almost 300 hours played into the game. Uh, 247 hours total. So, actually I'll back up so I can show you guys here in a second. Let's cut the music, unmute, and go over to game. We go to stats. You can see right here, general stats, play time, uh, 247 hours. So 247 hours on record so far, most of which was in like the last month. Uh, I did like 20 hours prior to playing the game again. So 247, so about 227 total hours in the past month. That is crazy, considering I also have never made a Zaw. A Zaw is it's kind of like a kit gun, so you have like guns you can you know you can farm for resources to then craft guns. Uh, you can purchase blueprints and then farm resources, craft the blueprints, and all that fun stuff. Um, game volume sounds really low to me, and that's probably just be that's probably intentional actually. Uh, let me get today's music too. I've uh, been listening to this. Uh, particular music score the last couple of days so music there we go game chops yep 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 all right we're going to send that message and then I need to pin it I like to pin these sorts of messages so uh, that's the music we're listening to today it's the Zelda and chill music mix so uh, while we get started here i want to talk about uh like weapons and stuff right so you have like a kit gun that you can make it's three different components you harvest resources for it mining uh farming resources from mob drops and that sort of stuff and then you craft those components and you make the kit gun well a zaw is basically the same thing you get three different blueprints like a blade a grip and something else and then you can combine them together and it's a customizable melee weapon it's what it is it's a really cool concept I just I can't be bothered to be like yeah let's try out and see what works best I'm just like tell me what is best you know I don't want to I don't want to experiment I want to figure it out so I'm, I'm on my Saren today uh, what we're doing is I need to go and mine resources um, looking at my list I have everything except for pyrol which is actually mined from red uh, veins uh, there's a spot over here that's really good for erudite. If uh, anybody's curious, it's this travel point. It's seaside Ruins is where we're at. Uh, inside this cave, there's also blue veins as well. So if you're looking for blue and red, it's a good mix. I just personally, I don't need blue anymore. I needed Azerite as well for this. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm probably going to skip blue veins. I'm just going to go after red ones personally. Gotta go for that bonus. We go. It's red on the ceiling, and I gotta wait for this crimson. Crim That's six. Wow. Okay. Usually the Azerite I got was like three or four. Six is a lot. So I don't need Oron. Uh, I have most of the other resources. Uh, Pyrol is a resource that I've used a lot in other recipes, so I just don't have as much. It's not as accessible. It's blue. There are also enemies down here, and I am also, one of the other things we're going to try to do today is upgrade some of my weapons. So I have the Diplos currently. Uh, I need to get it up to level 30. Both the Opticore Vandal and the Diplos I'm going to use for Profit Taker. Unfortunately, I need to form of them several times. Uh, the Diplos, I also need to do my Sisters of Parvos because I have another one, and I need to feed the new one into this one. A10 Pyrol, nice. Uh, because I want to get the magnetic ability up to 60% at least. I don't know what the max can be. Maybe 60 is the max. But Profit Taker is a corpus machine that has shields. And magnetic is good against shields. So that's... I'm following a guide on that too. Like I said, I, I don't ever try to figure stuff out by myself. I'm just like, tell me what works. Tell me what's the best. Change my mouse sensitivity for a second here. trying to latch up there, hang on. There we 
we go. I'm latched. Not very well, though. It's fine. I just wanted to break it. Um, let's try to get some more pyro. I do need to get the upgrades for this uh, laser. Oh, gosh. I messed that up. I believe those are at Fortuna. So I might go to Fortuna sometime after this. I should do it before, but, you know, yeah, it's fine. So the interesting thing about the Diplos is if you mark people like this and then shoot, it will shoot homing bullets after people. I don't know if it's always headshot too, but uh, in my personal playstyle, I don't really prefer that. Oxalus, get him. But if you start shooting and then aim down sight, it doesn't do that anymore. You have to be aim down sight, then mark them, and then shoot to get that effect. So I, I am glad that it has that ability, because it, it's supposed to be like an SMG, but you can kind of track enemies with it at distance. So it has some utility, but it's it's not better than like, you know, pulling out like a, a bow or a sniper or something else. Rifle, long range. I mean, even a Dragoon at medium to long range is good, so. Ferros and Verados. I don't need those, but I will take them. I might use it to increase my standing with the people at Earth, because I don't have uh, standing level 5. Fortuna I do, and Deimos I believe I have up to 4, or about to be 4, sometime soon. I just need to remember once a day to go over there and um, check out the Vandal. 10,000 headshot damage, nice. But I just need to continue to do daily stuff over at Necrolisk because I, I'm trying to get the standing up to 5 just so I don't have to in the future. There's no real thing I'm going for right now. Same thing with uh, Earth Cetus. But I do need to focus a bit more on that, honestly. Okay, should be this last one right here. <coughs> right now, I need 21 pyrol. That's all I need left. Um, once I get that, then I have enough pyrol to craft what I need, and then we just spend a couple minutes on my order. But I keep getting everything else under the sun, it looks like. So, there's that. Sometimes. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Sometimes there's usually veins way out there. Uh, it looks like they're in the, this little cave area. There's blue. Uh, there should be another blue. Yeah, I don't need that. Alright, sick. Uh, there was another one. It's a red one. I just need 11 more pyrol. It's Pharos. I don't need that. That's another red. The annoying thing is the Grenier might actually chase me, but, you know. A7. So I need four more Pyrol. That's it. over there. That's blue. I do not also have a melee weapon equipped because I was trying to max uh, maximize the amount of XP I get on both those weapons. Yep. Ah, oh, bonus. Missed it. This is a two bonus one too. Sheesh. Sometimes uh, it can glitch if you don't if you're if you like get the message of whatever you got and you're like ready to mine the next rock sometimes it doesn't show the nodes so you have to like flicker a little bit there's still some quirks to this game that uh i didn't really know existed also i got enough pyrol so i'm leaving that one guy is still infected by the spores it's not dead somehow this cave is also really good for iridite if you need it um in my personal experience back Back in the day, uh, when I was going for certain resources, when I finally died. Uh, Iridite was one of those that I needed in this, for like, I think 
think it was just for standing. I'm not sure exactly why. I needed a lot of it. Maybe it was frames, I don't remember. So I would just go through this area. And once I finished, I would teleport back, go to Xville, and then go back out, do it, rinse, repeat over and over and over. So I have everything I need, I just need to go craft it, and then once everything's been crafted, um, I believe the Zaw parts are going to take 12 hours, or maybe an hour, it might take an hour. Um, i trying to remember, because the kit gun I made, it was like an hour per part. Uh, you can craft all three at the same time, so it only took about an hour. Alright, head back to the orbiter. So, things I need to craft, I need to... I bought all the recipes this morning, too. So, I need Tear Azerite, uh, Coprite Alloy, and Pyrotic Alloy, and Fer Fur Steel Alloy. And I'm going to forget all of those. So, we're going to need Coprite. Somehow, I have 16, and I did not have the blueprint before today. So, I don't know how I got those. Um, Pyrotic? Yeah. First deal, there's a ton of that, and then the last one is the tier as a right. So these four. But I need to do the copyrights. I need 44, so I need three of these. I need a total of 60 is what it comes down to. Um, and you can only craft them in 20 batches. First steel, I only need the one, so that, once this is done, that's it. And then you craft this two more times, and this two more times, so these two need to be crafted two more times. Oh, there's a claim on button. Wow. Love weapon slots. Okay, yeah, I can make two more of these, no issue. First steel's good, tier as right, I don't need any of those anymore. It's just these two. I need to do one more recipe after this one. So, um, I called. Three pieces I'm using just because I don't really care too much that it's gonna be like a good one, you know? I just need enough to get it going. Oh, I can get another formal going. I need more neuroids as well, so that's another thing I need to do at some point. Um, I'm going for... Is that gear? Underneath gear. Or is it modular? Is it underneath modular? Yeah, there it is. So this is one of them. So I'm doing the... PA or however you say it, pay. Doing the Cephon and then the Vargit 2 Jai or Vargit the second Jai. I don't know what it is. I just know that I'm I'm using it. I don't know how to pronounce it. I need cryotic. Oh, why cryotic? I hate cryotic. <sighs> so it looks like I'm getting some cryotic. Cryotic, I know you can get from excavation missions. It tends to be like the big one. Um, let's see. Let's go to Earth, I guess. Like one of the early on places. I don't need anything crazy. And before I go anywhere, actually, let me go and mod these weapons a little bit because they leveled up. Get some somewhat decent mods on them, you know, just damage or whatever. So this one, the Vandal, I do also need to give... Oh no, I do have. Nice. Uh, I just need to polarize it then. Is it the Diplos that doesn't have it? The Diplos doesn't have it. But I also need to do this, the Valence Fusion. So I need to get another one of these with Magnetic. And then just slap them together. So uh, Give me a second here while I take a look. Off and taker. Weapons on the Diplos. I have five extra... Power. I don't 
if I can add much of anything. I can probably add lethal torrents on this last one. No, I can. Target cracker? Do I have target? I do have target cracker. Nice. So that's critical multiplier. Nice, 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 nice. So that one's upgraded as much as I can slash want to. And then the vandal. I have four at the moment. Um, vital sense. It's at five when it's through that, so we can't do that. The chamber vial acceleration. Do I have a vial acceleration? I do, and it's not upgraded. Nice. So I'll just throw that on there. It's fire or faster fire rate at the cost of damage. So do I want to do that yet. Hmm. What are my other options? Cryo rounds, if I have it. Uh, I do, but there. Can't do that. The other one is split chamber, which I can't even do that. So all right, sick. Uh, I guess we'll go back to vial acceleration. Just throw that on there. And then uh, because it, eh, uh, we'll rely on the weapons and abilities. It's fine. All right. So the mission that I'm going to, it's on Earth. It's Everest is the place. This I will go in public, just in case there are people, because I need a lot of cryotic. Um, I believe you can get cryotic from doing the X. Apologies, I'm not exactly awake yet. Skip, skip. Um, I believe. When it finishes digging, you should get it. If not, um, I do know that we I could do relics on excavation missions because they do actually give you cryotic. So there is that. Might run some relics. Oh, that staggers me. That's not good. Just double check. Yes. A little bit. Absolute wipeout. I wasn't trying to do that. All bad. It's not go near it. Thank you. You know, there's not much I can do about that. These guys didn't bring any power cells, because why would you? And yeah, no duh, Lotus. I can tell you why. So my two teammates, not only did they not kill things, they then proceeded to... Can I just, like, leave squad from here? No, I can't. <sighs> you 
know, I, I really, really hate people that just don't. I'll cut them a lot of slack, right? Because is Earth it's the it's one of the first I think it is the first planet that you ever get to play on. So I'm gonna say that they're noobs and they don't know what they're doing. But we got a neurotic out of it. So we also got hundred well, <laughs> How did it get cryotic? That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. We'll run a relic. A relic. Maybe. Uh, it should be 200 cryotic per relic. I might even just do it solo just so I don't have to worry about people being stupid. Yeah, level one. That guy literally just started playing the game. That's fair. Um, we'll do solo. Invite only is the same thing, but yeah. So I'm looking for... Of course, I look for it and I don't get it. There's no excavation here at all. It's so dumb. What's what are some of the other options? So excavations. Um, I believe you can get it from other things too. Mainly in the excavation game mode, acquired can also be acquired from resource caches. So can be, but it's mainly excavation. Okie dokie. Do I go steel path? There's no open squad, so I probably shouldn't do that because I don't want to. I don't want to deal with that nonsense. full squad, four people. If everybody picks up a power cell and contributes their fair share, we can be done so much faster. Excavator is ready to go. So what is the first thing I do? I go and I run, I grab one of these, and then, you know, I immediately get it on B. Because the name of the game with excavators is you don't want to waste time. Here, let me help you out, buddy. See, it was just... It was 100 endo and cryotic. I just don't see that I get cryotic. Nice. Makes sense. Sense makes. I keep hitting F to like melee down to the ground, but I, I keep forgetting I don't actually have a melee weapon right now. to hit the guy in the background, but it worked. Okay, issue, I do not have the energy right now. Uh, resolution, I do have the energy now. Okay, you guys updated. energy over here? Oh, there's a lot of energy over here. Nice. You guys are dropping energy left, right, and center, man. These guys extracting? Eh, it'll be fine. Well, not the extracting part. The... Okay, they are doing more. So another extra 100 cryotic. I hate that this is how you have to get cryotic. Because it's, it's rather time-gated, right? Also, I'm doing that that bad teammate thing. Here, let me help him out. If I kill these, hopefully they'll respawn at the new point and not like behind me, like the other ones were. This thing is 300, 400 meters away almost. Holy. Wait. wait, no, that's the next one. Okay. C is right here. Oh, it did actually spawn a few over here. Nice. I will say the Diplos, it's um, two, a, a dual wheel pretty much, right? You, uh, let's see if I can, yeah, you can kind of see right there, there's two of them. So, uh, it's, it's like a, it's like two, well, it's, it's what dual wheel is, right? Two. <laughs> but, uh, it feels a little bit better hip firing like this instead of like focus firing. And I don't mean like, you know, I can just, 
subtract all these guys and then click some over here and just fire. And just like fire. This is not what I mean by focus fire, but like you start firing and then you hold down the right mouse button to aim. It feels better to just do this. Even at a distance, it feels pretty good, you know? I need a lot of cryotic, so if this guy wants to go and do kind of an endurance run, I am totally down for that. Alright, Spores, go kill everything. say though if I need that extra little bit of like aim potential then I will just hold down the right mouse button aim with it if I just can't seem to hit my target with hip fire I try to hit it with hip fire though just kind of like generally aim and then just you know shoot there we go Let's just deal with it all Let's see is that guy paying attention Sword. Uh, for some reason, you felt the need to kill the guy that had a cell instead of just grabbing the one that was available. Uh, I so badly just want to nuke everything here. It's just. This part of me is like, it's not. Is it really worth the energy? <laughs> Plus, anything that I can get on the Diplos is better because it has a higher max rank than the Vandal. At least formed them. I formed them this morning and got the the vandal up to 30 again and form it a second time. I need to do. I think I, I think I did it twice. I don't know. If not, I intended to, but never got around to it. But I think what I should do on this is anybody who's not an Eximus is going to get diploed. And then Eximus, like this guy, is going to get vandaled if he doesn't get killed by my ally. Oh, a Lith Relic. A second one, actually. Here we go. Boom. I think that was such a waste, but... I kind of forgot to grab one of these. I wasn't paying attention. I don't think my ally has one, does he? Well, he does now. <laughs> it's about to judge him. He doesn't have one, right? Why are, you, why are you not carrying one, bruh? See, it's too well, quite literally. I dropped mine because I went to reload my primary. I, I'll be the noob, it's fine.
seen that loading screen in a while. Must be an Earth only thing. Sorry if I'm not saying much. I'm just honestly just kind of farming. Uh, how much cryotic have I gotten so far? 700. So every single dig is at least 100. That's good. Good to know. Uh, from what I gather, there's. Uh, I, I know it's a meme, and I don't. I don't know if I ever want to delete it because it requires 30,000 cryotic. There's a. a like a, kind of like a mace on a long stick. It says what a mace is. A spiky ball on a long stick. That's what a mace is, right? But uh, it's it's kind of like I, I want to say it's like almost like a staff kind of. Like the stick is freaking long. It requires thirty thousand cryotic. Um, I'll show you guys after I finish this. That just means that I need to do thirty waves. No, 300 waves. It is 30,000. Yeah. Wait. No, it is 300 waves. Right? Yeah, it's 300 waves. Oh my gosh. I was thinking about that. Just, ugh. As if I want to go for it, which eventually I kind of do. I don't have to necessarily aim with this, just shoot roughly at the ground, it does huge... How big is this splash? Okay, it's pretty big. Okay, too far away, too far away. Is it... Okay, it's a little bit better, there we go. I keep forgetting, no melee. Don't, don't try to melee. Off I go then. Probably go to 10 and then extract because that's another thousand and that'll keep me going for a bit. I think I only need like 300 right now. I need to do a lot of excavation stuff so I might start, you know, even if I do like 10 waves a day, that's like 30 waves I can get that stupid black weapon. That's where they cuss at you there because it sounds like they're saying son of a and then something. They might be Grenier to speak for the B word or something. I don't know. Also, might be Spanish. I'm not sure. I'd like to believe it's not because it would be recognizable. If it's Grenier speak for something inappropriate, then okay. But if they were just like lazy and just put Spanish in there, I'm sure a lot of people who speak Spanish would be just like, ah, oh, that's lazy game development, you know. It was mildly offensive to anybody who speaks Spanish, you know. That's the that's the best you guys like. That's how I imagine a lot of people who speak like German. Whenever a game uses like German words, they probably just like roll their eyes like, oh, okay, here we go again. I can't be the only one who thinks like that. Okay. Uh, I think I should be clear if I do one more. And it should be clear. We have a power cell. Fine. Probably could have left it at 10 seconds, but there was a rocket guy and I didn't want to go with that rocket guy. I didn't want to leave with the rocket guy just shelling the extractor. Would not have been good. I mean, to be fair too, like these are not fully ranked weapons, uh, rank 10 and 13. In the mission too, the Vandal's only rank 8 and the Diplos is only rank 11. So these numbers are up by 2 because the bonus is applied after the mission's over, but it still shows you what you get if you leave with the bonus, you know? I do like that a lot. Um, so... But uh, even though... I mean, it's, it's Earth, right? It's like one of the first... I think it is the first planet that you start off at. These guys are only like level 12. The missions I've been going to, like Helena on Saturn, they start off at like 15 or so. So these guys are literal just water weight, if you want to call them that. 
They're massive pushovers. Okay. Which one of you has a cell? You don't have a cell. On my left, do you have a cell? No, you don't. So, please, your Neximus, you get to die now. Congratulations. There's nobody with a cell, huh? This guy? No. But you. Yeah. Anybody with an energy cell? I just need one more kill. Come on, please. should be okay, especially if I nuke everybody before I leave. So these guys have been fighting these little dog things. That's partially the reason why enemies weren't going over to me. Extractor should be fine. Yeah, probably could have even left in 30 seconds. So this should be a thousand cryotic. Which is more than enough. There's a mod over here. Might as well grab that. Thank you. You don't tell me what mod I get. Okay, thanks. Is this what Earth is like? Possibly take a look at the other things that I need to do. Yeah, a thousand crowded. Okay. So level 10, level 15. We could probably do some power leveling. I want to get a um, affinity booster though for that. It was only seven minutes for a thousand as well. So when you think about that, uh, take the number times by 30. So it'd be seven minutes times by 30. So that would be a little over th almost three and a half hours of doing. <laughs> Probably knock it out today, but I don't want to. That's just too much work. Um, so it's this, this, and that. Okay, so I need more copyright and the pyrotic. I'm pretty sure the uh, copyright's done. But I need the other one. Um, this stuff, right? Yeah, that stuff, okay. So wait a minute, and then when we get this done, then I can get all three of those cooking. And then about an hour, well, I set a timer, so I'm aware of it. Uh, we'll just go ahead and create my Zaw. I never explained truly why I want to get a Zaw. I want to get a Zaw for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, I just don't have one. And two, uh, more importantly, I found out, I'll call it the golden ticket of Plat. Riven mods. Um, I have all these Riven mods here, like this Tomb Finger one here. Somebody sold, so the, let me let me try to explain this as best I can. I don't completely understand it, so there's your disclaimer. Rivens you get from playing the game. You can only have a certain amount of Riven capacity. You, past that, you have to like start spending Plat to get more Riven capacity. Yes, orders, thank you. Um, somebody um, on the wiki for Riven mods, it links a it links a spreadsheet of sorts where you can see in the last week what has sold and for how much. This past week, a Tomb Finger Riven mod was sold for over 4,500 plat. 
Um, there's some of the other ones, like all the other ones I have, Gaze, which is a gun, G-A-Z-E, uh, the Mutilus, Quanta, the Batacor, and the Acrid. These other four, average, I think the Acrid one was like 20 plat, something like that. Uh, depending on what is on these, they're really good. They, they can be insanely high. Because imagine this, right? If you have one of the best Riven mods in existence, what are people willing to spend money for it? And if they're going to use it, how desperately are they going to want to have it? Have the best of the best, so to say. You know? But anyways, those are cooking, so let me set a hour timer on my phone. That's what I was going to do, and then I got distracted on Pokemon Go for like two seconds, and it was like, oh, raids are there nearby. Which I need to do, so... Right, there is my hour timer. Okay, so uh, let me take a look. Uh, let's head to a relay. Uh, Stratus seems to be a very popular one, so we'll go over there. And then hopefully I can get an affinity uh, blessing booster thing while we're here. If I can, then we'll go to Helena for a little bit. Try to level up these weapons to 30 forma once or twice more, depending on how many times I need to actually do it. Uh, again, these are going to be strictly for um, Profit Taker, but they are going to be Corpus. They're going to be like Corpus weapons, pretty much. So they will be used on the uh, Profit Taker fight, but they can be used all sorts of different places. So. Five thousand for the mod that I want to get from him, and then maybe I can check. What's gonna check the arbitrage, arbitrations, Ar arbitrators, Ar the hex dudes, the hex boys, this, these ones. Uh, I only have ten. is like it said the relay is busy but then I go here and there's like three people you know I don't understand how the relay is so busy there's like three four people here is there a discord or something where people are like yeah I'm gonna pop a you know a buff a, like affinity buff on X relay in like five minutes or something is there is there anything like that Would be nice if they did. Wait, what? Somebody. <laughs> I was looking at the Discord uh, for a second. Somebody has a Riven mod. I didn't know this was a possibility, but apparently it is. Um, the Toroid one that I have. Do I have? No, I don't. They have a Torrid Agripuratron, which is a very strange name. All these, like, the first name, like, Acrid, that's for the Acrid weapon, and then whatever the second name is, something weird. Uh, they have one that is a 1.06 times damage to Corpus Infected Grenier. All three factions, well, three of the ones you primarily would fight. Uh, plus a minus 6.9% zoom. What? You might be able to know this is why I want is off because I cannot actually use these, can't unveil them until I put them on a Zaw. Um, plus I also need to do this. Maybe we go do that real quick. Maybe. I'll worry about those later. 
Uh, for right now, I have weapons I need. Let's go over to Helena. I don't think I, I'm just not gonna care about getting the bonus. It'd be nice. It's just not absolutely mandatory. So. Gold. Hmm. All right, I need to remember I do not have a melee weapon. to have it start right away until we get four people but you know people are impatient so I immediately hit F um, that's what I have my melee button down to Here, you guys need some help I found out too, if uh, I use my abilities, it does not give me any e EXP. So, see, the Diplos is bonus 1744. I use this. Wait for them all to die. That is 19. Okay. Interesting. Might be my allies doing that though. There were times where, like, if I was in solo play and I used my abilities, it didn't give me any e EXP. So, I wonder if my allies killing things counts. If so, I, I will do my best to maybe just use my gun and not be nuke Saren for like two seconds. Because I believe if my allies use abilities, I gain XP based off of that on my weapons. I don't remember exactly how the EXP thing works. Trust me when I say I'd much rather not spend uh, 10 more hours here if I can avoid it. I'm not doing like 10 hours today here, thankfully. I still have majority damage as well as kills. try to kill the Eximus before they do their abilities because, well, one, they're annoying, and two, uh, they are, as somebody said to me once, they are big bags of EXP. Try and shoot one, if there was one down below. I swear there was, but maybe it was like a dog or something. I just didn't pay attention to it. Dog or a cat. When you use both. I think that it, I think the dog is like a Kubro. 
And then the uh, cat, I think, is a cavado. Right in his knee. Skyrim taught me anything, which I did buy and play a lot recently as well. Um, it is a shot to the knee is absolutely lethal. Used to be adventure like you, so it's a shot to the knee. Or an arrow, arrow to the knee, not shot. In this case, it's a plasma rifle of doom. Don't use your ability and let me kill you, please. Thank you. Go back to the Diplos again. The other person leaves and I have to leave because I'd like to have three people, but... Keep the Diplos like four or six, I can't remember, levels ahead of the Vandal. Like go to the other side my allies like yeah I'm just gonna go stand between you and it I'm like no because then he's gonna look at us <laughs> and I can't shoot it <laughs> and I don't have a melee so these all are personal problems I know but
literally walked into my crosshairs. Hey, look at me so then you can take headshot damage. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, that that happened. <laughs> Add a stream marker for later, so I can take that as a clip. I don't think I've ever seen somebody ragdoll into the air like like that fast. Pretty impressive. Nah. for that are you serious man going to 15 or 20 is honestly the best bet because you start getting a lot of Xmas about you know 15 I think 13 14 and 15 is where they really start to ramp up and that's that's where you get a majority of your XP I'm gonna go AFK at a relay real quick I'm gonna go get some water in the meantime and come back and hopefully have a, a thing affinity blessing we'll see though be right back. people is in this relay. Not that much more than the last one. Alright, sick. Imagine as I'm leaving somebody hits it, you know. that I am like watching in development and stuff and it's it's basically free to play on Steam but there's like my tr microtransactions like crazy and it's like I've been waiting for an update to it there's like a huge expansion they're gonna do it's supposed to be like it's supposed to fundamentally change a lot about the game um, they haven't released it they are like 97% complete they claim and they've been working on it since like last December. <laughs> you must defend our equipment until reinforcements yeah. Arrive. 
So I'm a little irritated that they're like, yeah, we're working really hard. By the way, check out our dev stream. And I'm like, I don't care to know the ins and outs of your development. Just release it already. It's, it's annoying to me. How devs, they're like trying to get more money out of like ad revenue or more people like tuning in like, oh yeah, I really like your game. I want to support you. And it's like, how about you release a good game first and then, you know, we'll talk about support. We got another Saren, an Atlas Prime, and an Ember. I saw the Ember. Okay, here comes the Nuke Saren. It's just a normal Saren, too. If they want to nuke things, I'm all for it, provided I actually get a lot more XP. So Merciless Mind is the person of interest. Let's see when they nuke and how much they nuke. Um, I mean, now would be a good time to do it. No, we just don't believe in it. All right, here, let me help you. I really am waiting for the day somebody gets mad at me, like, you should stop doing it. I didn't see that guy in the, in the stairs, I'll be honest. Who the heck is that? <laughs> Who does that? Atlas? Gotta be, right? Mrs. Zumi Cat. I thought that was a wall. I didn't know it was a rock monster. Not gonna lie, that scared me. I almost was like, they can move? <laughs> Everything's about to die in like two seconds. I wonder if... Yeah. No, they're... Okay, maybe they're leveling Saren? Hmm. Here, let me help you guys. I did. They gotta be just leveling Saren. Cause like they use their four at the beginning and then they just haven't since then. And I called them nuke Saren and they just haven't nuked since then. So I, I don't know, man. Diplo I feel like you're gonna be the harder of the one uh, harder of the weapons for me to level up, so I might as well focus on that. I just hit the guy way over there and infected everybody on the other side. Wow. A lot of people attribute uh Saren, like nuke Saren specifically, to being your fourth ability. Uh, if your range and strength is high enough. You can kind of get away with just using a spore, just like that. Shoot at them till they die, and then everybody's infected, and then like two, three seconds later, everybody's actually dead. Except for a guy who is being very despondent. Did that's okay. You know that I'm gonna assume uh, to give them some credibility. They are leveling this area because to say that uh, say they know what they're doing that's a stretch 22 23 I don't know if the ability kill like my ability kills count as XP for my weapons I think it's just my allies ability kills it, there's no way for me to really know for sure unless you know I'm with people who are just completely despondent in a corner, not attacking anything. But every time I see an Eximus, I'm, I'm completely just inting for it. I 
need to work on a few other weapons too. I need to work on getting the Ignis uh, Wrath. Uh, that's one weapon I need to work on because I wanna I wanna do a meme build that has an Aros, the uh, Ignis Wrath, and a I think it's called a Typedo or Tip Tipido um, for Seal Path. <laughs> it's MR5 weapons pretty much. And you can use the Ignis in the place of the Ignis Wrath, but I kind of want to go for the Ignis Wrath because I mean, if I'm going to meme, I might as well meme properly. And the build I'm using, it's from a video I saw on YouTube by a guy who goes by Blackie. I think it's MH Blackie or something like that. If you look up, um, if you look up Warframe and then Blackie, I think it's... B-L-A-C-K-E-Y, or maybe it's just Y, I'm not really sure. Uh, you'll find them. The video that I found about Rhino, which is like the million Rhino, shield gating is dead, uh, how to get like 2,000 Indo in two minutes. Those are just like a handful of his videos. So you should be able to find them. Uh, he's a very, very nice guy. Goes through a lot about, you know, the intricacies of Warframe, things you should do, use and why you shouldn't use certain things. I think he even made a video like titled something like Everybody Hates Anaros or something like that. Which I don't have any strong feelings one way or the other. If he will allow me though to do Steel Path with little to any issue in terms of survivability, I am all down for that. I am all down for that. Merciless Mind is just busy raving, so. Now he's going to loot everything. So, the Diplos, I want to level up more because it's going to take a lot longer overall. The Vandal is. It's okay, I don't think it's going to take too long. Mainly because the. Um. The Vandal is only level 30. Every time I Forma the Diplos, it goes up two more as its max. So it'll be 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, and then 40 if I go the full, I think it's five Forma. I think I'm only going four. I might just go five just to get it up to level 40, just because why not, but yeah. Is it overkill? Yes. Is it necessary? Mm, probably not. Oh, that guy just exploded. Quite literally became a pinata. I keep hitting F. That's my melee button. F for fight, E for use. I was about to say E for interact, but I was like, that's, that's not how you spell. Enter, yes. Interact, no. Which is weird. Let's get on a tangent about spelling. Why is interact spelled with an I when enter is E? That's the sort of high quality content you guys subscribe for, right? Rock golems look dope. It is Atlas, okay. Level 25. You know what's funnier than 23? You know what's funnier than 24? What? 25. Alright. Might be bad. I'm leveling him. <laughs> Hey, it doesn't matter if they are practically good. As long as they look aesthetic, that's half the battle, you know? My general philosophy. Put me on that. That's right, I'll do it for the memes. You say as you use... <laughs> that's the Saren, by the way. You say that as you use uh, Miasma when there's no enemies nearby. So, I mean... It's a possibility, that's for sure. Okay, we're up to 25... Mizumi cat, are you gonna? Okay, no, maybe. I guess we're going two people into fifteen.
think by me nuking it gives more like Warframe XP, which is you know good for allies. It's not really good for myself, sadly. That guy did not sound like he was having a good day. Oh, it's the freaking rock golem. So I was like, that's some weird noxes. And I got this. Oh, I mean, I got it. Had to reload to get one more bullet. If I just didn't miss one one extra bullet, I would have killed it. It's fine. Twenty six. And almost a half. Yeah, the Diplos feels way better as a hip fire weapon, honestly. Why are those, why are those bullets floating there? That's weird. Yeah, we go. If anybody survives that, it's generally an Eximus or this, you know, uh, cat burglar dude. I don't think that's the official name, but you know, that's what I call it. Yeah, like an Eximus here. Like, this guy will survive that, so I just track him down and kill him. Holy Eximus, baby. That's a lot of you. Seven and 23 on the Vandal. Nice, nice. I'm gonna have to do one more up to 15 defense to max these out, hopefully. If not, I can always do uh, what I was doing earlier this morning when I didn't want to run like five waves of defense. I would run like an exterminate. It, I think it was slightly longer in time, but it gave a lot more XP, I feel. Stop that right now. Gonna reload. He doesn't see me. Well, I should go over here and do this. I was battling a, my inner demon over there, known as Nox. I thought it was an Eximus there for a split second. I got scared. I got really scared. Wait. <laughs> That's got to be an Atlas thing. Has to be, right? But no, the, the guy who went flying last match, that was a Limbo that did that. Atlas, I can see it, though. He summons rock elementals and stuff, you know. crazy to think that the rest of the team, uh, so I've done 60% damage, so the person's done 18, uh, that leaves, let's see if I can math, 22? Yeah, 22% for the other two people. But this uh, person too that I'm with, uh, that number is slightly contaminated, same with mine, because they left, so more mobs for us to try to kill. Golems are so freaking cool though. I do like them. I'm a fan of like, in some games, uh, what are they called, like summoner classes, like Necros is kind of one of them, where you like, um, use his abilities to like raise an army from the dead, you know? It's pretty cool. He, he's kind of like a necromancer in that way. Well, he, he is a necromancer in that way. It, Necros literally, I think, is the Greek word for death. Too. There's that. Fun fact for you. In case anybody's curious about Greek stuff, or I, I was about to say maybe Latin, but I'm pretty sure it's Greek. Nuke Town, population Grenier. And Womp. Survives like this guy's. You, that was a Nox. Oh, that's an Eximus right over here. They seem to like pop out at near the end of the wave, too. I'm noticing. 143 bonus. I didn't get the look. Alright, time to head out. I 
143. 15 minutes for that. 15 waves, about a minute per wave then. Not including time, you know, to start and time waiting for people to vote, time ticking down because people want to leave instead of continue or want to continue, not leave, you know, that sort of stuff. Hey, Miss Zumi Cat again. Yeah, that's an ember. I like how I was stuck, but everybody else was able to move. I don't understand that. Right over there. The reason I check these is it only takes like maybe a minute to do. But there is a potential to get the um, Ayatin stars out of them. So, you know. Either a syndicate or a stalker, one of the two. Somebody's angry, though. That's all I know. We got Ember, Wukong, and Atlas Prime. Okay. Wukong and Ember. Ember? I don't think Ember has like a nuke ability. Possibly. I don't think so though. Wukong, similar thing. He doesn't have like a one button kill half the map sort of move. I think I'm the only one who can because at least the person who's leveling Atlas, they're, well, they're level 26 though. They have all their abilities I think by level 15 on most frames. I want to say. Yeah, early on the spores just do so much damage. They kill things in like three, four ticks of damage. It's crazy. And if they're already got some power behind them, like they were already alive and, you know, not completely decayed, do a decent amount of damage. I spent far too much time in Helena, I'll be honest. The amount of plastids, I, I actually checked. I have over 50,000 plastids from running this so many times. The worst part is, I need more. <laughs> Uh, I went through and I was surfing the internet, right, trying to find out things, and I found out on the dojo you can get a lot of different weapons and some, you know, some frames, a lot of weapons though. You know, you got the chem lab, you got the uh, tenno lab, all these different labs for different weapons and different frames and stuff. And somebody calculated and listed all the values of every single item that you need, plastids, rubido, uh, Palmer bundles, you know, everything you're going to need to craft everything in the dojo at least once. And I think it was like 75 to 80,000 plastids. If not, then, well, I'm going to have a surplus of plastids and that can't be helped. So. Alright, kind of waiting for them to get kind of closer and nuke. I just love seeing all the red in the mini-map and then poof, gone. Alright, so we're at 30. It should go above 30. I don't remember how many times I've formed it so far, but it's more than once. This might be the second form one, so it might be level 34. Which if that's the case, I hopefully should be able to hit it by the time the Vandal also hits level 30. Probably 31 though, so I'll swap to the. Nah, we'll stick to the Diplos. It's fine. That's an Eximus. Nobody attack it, it's mine. Are you serious? I would have gotten like one or two headshots. I mercy killed some allies, couldn't steal it from me. 
Not that I don't think it matters. See, this is what I'm talking about. The mission this time I don't believe counts toward the actual timer. Oh my gosh, it's stuck at four. I thought I thought we were gonna be stuck here for the rest of the time. I was about to be really sad. So we're gonna swap to Vandal for a little bit. I'm gonna try to get the Vandal some XP here. Yeah, definitely I've gotten like 3,000 more XP, it's fine. The Vandal's really good against one target. But he's also, it's also really good against, uh, or in conjunction with the spore, you know, use the spore, boom, spore spreads immediately. Because it basically one-shots everything, which is kind of what I was, you know, going for. Because, I mean, that's kind of just the nature of the weapon, right? It's just kind of what it does. You charge, and then technically it also does AoE, so you can shoot at the ground and you know, kill a bunch of enemies at once, but... Had to reload. There we go. There's two guys there. Two. Wow, I'm surprised I got that one. Heat electricity, and you combine toxin with that, and you get corrosive. Interesting. I think, yeah, there's an Eximus down there. I'm not gonna lie. You're just holding that whole point, and I just show up across the map from downtown. Just nuke it. Bye. 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 Oh. Alright, so two levels of pop. I need two levels on the Vandal and two levels on the Diplos, and then they're maxed. Should be. I hope. Like I said, I did buy the forma necessary to do this uh, with Plat this morning, which I might regret in the long term, but also I don't really mind that much, I'll be honest. By the time the plague start, ooh, that's not good. Uh, fixed Tenacious Bond not considering Hunter Synergy's critical chance link buff for determining if- Yeah, okay, that, that went straight over. What? Like my Bond to my s several hunky anime husbands? What the f- what the last line said, guys. Somebody, uh, somebody needs to go outside and maybe touch grass or- in a while, you know what I'm saying? Extraction complete. 
Are we leaving? I guess we are. Everybody's like, oh no, the hotfix, we gotta leave. I don't blame them, but... <sighs> now the real question is, do I do a, like, level f uh, like, a f up to wave 5, or do I just, like, run exterminate or something? Survival, maybe, I don't know. What's that say? Hotfix number 5 is coming in 2 minutes. Fix me unable to add cross-platform friends by using their... Oh, really? All those with the till rigors meaty thighs, Ally? What? <laughs> you now have friends. We also fix the add friend and invite the clan options not showing the chat menu for cross-platform players. Yeah, that's nice. Finally. I'm just kind of waiting now because it's like, do I do a mission? Do I just... What do I do? What is the final level on this? So I've done it twice. Yeah, I need this as well. Uh, this needs to be max rank. So two times would be level 34. So I need two more levels on this and then I need one more level on that. So this is the last one, say. And he's affected by the slash proc from Varuna's Ulf, Ulfron's Descent attacks and then killed by it will now trigger the health orb drop chance from her Lycanth's, or Lycanth's hunt ability. We also remove the breathing sounds while Dagus Grave Spirit is active. The ASMR tingles are too much to handle. Uh, speaking of ASMR, people have told me to go into ASMR. I'm not doing that. It's just, to me, it's just weird. Do I have a second? That's incubator. Uh, that's operator. I'll get it right, don't worry. Inventory. Ever since the Hellman got unlocked, it's thrown me off. So, Plastid, 58,000. Nice. Uh, over a million nanospores. Um. I forgot what I was looking for. Oh. Not a cipher, it's uh What's it called? There's a thing you can get to like unveil or like veil. What is it called? It's a Riven something or another. If I go if I go over to Rivens and I hit this. Unveil. Ah, it's a Riven Cipher. That's right. Okay. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> when you slide to the DMs, hey. Might have to restart the game. We'll see. Let's try to do uh, some trading, I guess, or at least just take a look and see what's going on here. Benson Prime. Like, look at this. One. 0.2k that is platinum 3k for this one it's crazy any ribbon for all these different weapons that i don't have Occucore? do i've seen Occucore a lot recently that must be a popular one i don't believe i have one for that though no the batacore that's what it is that's good. I uh, want to sell, want to sell, want to sell. I want to buy any ribbons for Glaive, Ceramic Dagger, Torrid. I don't believe I have a Torrid. Do I? No, I don't. Cobra and Crane Prime. Molt Augmented. Oh, that's an Arcane. Can't get that. 
I probably could, it's just too lazy. Primary Blight? Oh, that's arcane stuff, okay. Melee Riven mod, 20 plat. Yep, okay, that's kind of what I figured. Uh, give me two seconds. We're gonna show the end screen so you guys don't have to go to a black screen and stuff. I'm gonna close the game, relog back in, and we'll get right back into it. And make sure Warframe is completely closed out in the background because sometimes it likes to just kind of hang there. Alright, it's completely closed. With me one second here. It's almost been two hours. Holy cow. Bam, 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 bam. Alright. Should be in now. And there we go. Nice. Alright, so we could do more leveling. Honestly, I, I'm bored of doing that. I don't want to do it anymore. I know I'm so close to leveling up again, but I'm not going to deal with that. Let's go on Hero Prime. The reason for this is I have a theory when it comes to the Sisters of Parvos or the Lich. Um, you get more if you have the Progenitor. I don't know if that's actually the case, but you know. My bonus is 34%. This is the same Diplos that I had uh, and then Diplos, so they have resistances against fire and radiation. Their weakness is actually corrosion, so I need to get a corrosive build if I wanted to, or just kind of stick with what I have. So the Latum, I believe, is it's viral, but then when it goes to its incarnum form, it's radiation. Ordis? I don't even know what his name is. I don't pay attention. Who are we talking about? <laughs> secondary Merciless. Um, do secondary Deadhead, actually. That's headshot kill. Yeah, we'll do kill, because at least I can get more kills with that. So. Broken War. What do we got? We have Viral there, but I want... Corrosive. What is corrosive? It's toxin with something else, right? Wait, what's this blood rush? Crit chance with... This is normal crit chance. With damage, slash... 100% chance to increase melee combo counter when slash status deals damage. Hmm, I don't know. I need to I need to work over my broken war a bit more. It's, it's it, the damage is kind of subpar right now. That's what I will say. Anyways, I don't remember what this first one was. some missions though so first one we'll do a survival you know it's funny it said zero squads open but yet I go to this and it's like oh there's people the official warframe companion app allows you to claim and deploy extractors use your foundry manage companions and do all sorts of other cool stuff oh I joined in just in time nice
maybe some Rubidaw. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Should we fall? Hopefully. Yeah, nice. It's crazy ever since I modded Arrow a little bit better. The energy per kill thing can get pretty nuts. Usually I do up to like 20, but I get up to almost 40 a kill. In headshots, I mean 154 energy per kill. Like, sheesh. I can just spam this on the same enemy, probably. I want more enemies though, because then I can just use it once. There's a lot of enemies up there actually. Hang on a second. I'm moving. There we go. We're good. Popping out Xmas, you literally just you made my Incarnum form literally pop back right back up again. Appreciate that. All right, excavation should be available in like three seconds. Okay, no reason to continue to stay. It's time to leave.
actually going to leave. Da, da. Uh, so that way I can get my components for my Zol. It's the Zol. Modular. Got the items here. And then I believe, how do you, you go to Cetus, I believe. Maybe. Possibly, maybe, potentially. I really like this song too, because it sounds like it's got the, uh, the like Japanese style instrument. I can't remember what it's called. It's like 17 strings, very traditional. But, uh, um, okie dokie. But a hawk, uh, um, forge a saw. Huzzah, mother. Gilded. Oh, yeah, I don't know the difference is, I'm gonna be Alright, so now what I get to do is I get to go and equip the Riven mods to it to see what challenges I get and if I want to actually do them or not. If not, I'll probably just, you know, stick to fighting the sister of Parvos because why not? Huzzah. Let's see. Um, let's go ahead and equip. Ah, oh, you can't put on multiple ones. That kind of sucks. Oh well. What do we got? Uh, kill pilots before they hit the ground. Uh, land seven consecutive headshots while in Arcwing in the Plains of Eidolon. Consecutive headshots. That's going to be kind of rough. Shouldn't be too bad, though. By the enemies don't move. The sniper is not gonna be too bad. Plus, I can do that too. Why? Well, I can only do one at a time. Hmm. Oh well. Um, let me go ahead and swap back to Broken War. I don't want to do it either of those. So I was hoping for something a bit easier, but you know, we don't get that around here. So time to move on to something else. Um, known requiems. That you only get experience after you need it, huh? Prepare for an experience. Uh, do I have? I do have, okay. I don't know what the third one is, and if this is the right order, then so be it, you know. Um, do I have? Oh, yeah, I have, okay. And then there's that one, the Kiro one. Okay. I at least know two of the three, and this one is like the too because it's like all of them you think you can beat me, do you? oh I know I can it's just a matter of when that's the real question my dear I'll do mobile defense um not is it yeah, it's steel meridian I saw steel wait no that's not it this one it's a rescue okay I saw steel meridian was like steel path I know I can't do that and I saw level 30 I was like no I can do that and then I was like wait a minute that's that's a syndicate never mind Makes a lot of sense now, don't it? This should be a spy, was it? Our intel suggests that our person of interest is in the vicinity. Search Rescue, I was drinking water. So this shouldn't be bad. I just go in and attack the little drones as I see them. Get down below where heck is this thing? Is it below me? It is. Stupid dog. Um, wow, that killed it really quickly. Wait a minute. Yeah, now the, the third one is the one that usually takes the longest. Alright, so... I'm not going to stop unless I see another one of the red pings. I'm not going to care either about that. Pavos, Granum! Your crowns are safe with me. I'm not going to stop for that guy either. Oh, I sound like I'm getting older. The more I talk. No, we're not going to worry about that guy. He's weird. What is it? 
my deck. How do you normally do this? I have no idea. I never do it right. I usually just jump inside. Like past the lasers. I don't know if there's supposed to be like a terminal somewhere. Is this it? I think so. No, it's not. Alright, well. I tried. Stop that great. Search each one for the hostage. Uh, this, that, this, that, this, 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 that, that is not my guy. For 25 seconds, we're fine. We Gucci. I will not forget this. Hello. I would give him my secondary, but I'm using it. So. Okay, so there is another. Oh my gosh, there's so many. First off, we're in second off by. Hostage, can you keep moving, please? No, you just. <sighs> Probably it's because I need to keep moving, you know? my sweaty meaty fingers don't ask what I do with them to make them sweaty I guess she says that but I, I she literally takes like nine tenths of everything I have <laughs> oh, sorry I just punched my desk or my feet I hurt more your ears if you're listening with headphones on sorry about that Let's see. Next mission. Uh, what what do you what do you do? You're fuming. Okay. Uh, let's try to capture. I, I guess. Oh, mission, people are on this mission. Nice. By on the mission, I mean they're about to start it. <laughs> night again. You guys fighting like a what is happening over here? Oh, it's it. Okay, I knew it happened. I was like, it says four because that one he like splits into three if you let him. So it, it was technically three of those guys, and then one for the capture target. So. to leave. And the only 
time I stop is if a lich, or I guess one of the sisters spawn, or if, like in the case of the little red ping, one of the little guys show up and tries to ruin my day. show up here in a second I don't know oh this is the way forward I was I thought I was getting detoured uh, is that mine is that mine I couldn't tell it is mine Okay, so I need to use that piece. Do I got it? Ah, I don't. Ow. A promotion. <laughs> I, said the, I said the B word. <laughs> promotion. Oh, not this guy again. You see how all of us went after the dog? <laughs> Oh, wait. No, he's still alive. It's like, what happened to him? Oh, it's a Krim Relic. Nice. That's a new one. sarcasm. Well, isn't that just lovely? Lovely jubbly. Yo, I opened two crates. Look at me. I'm doing the Lord's work over here. So I need to equip, I believe I got the, all three right. I just don't know if I have the one. Uh, so my, the sister of Parvos that I'm going for went to a different planet. So I need to find out where they went, but I also need to upgrade this while it's still fresh in my mind. Uh, I do not have it. So I swap these two around and then you find out which one it is and hopefully get it from a Requiem Relic. that not that it's not that it is not that either Are these the only ones I might just use the uh, little one I do not have that one I have those two those two so I'm missing Vome and the Netra but for some it showed the it shows a different symbol, and I don't know if that's just like the wool symbol. It probably is. Because it's like this, but the other way around. That's okay. We'll just use the wool. I don't feel like trying to figure out the third one. Well, you know, let's not use the wool, because I can always use it later. So... What... Do I feel because I'm I'm close to getting the third one anyways, you know? So in case I have it and I don't, you know, I don't need to use it if I don't need to. Okay, we're just calm down. Uh, all the way over to Jupiter. So what we're going to do. Exterminate because those are easy. Okay. It 
eliminate all corpus threats. My intel suggests that I should remove my bow, I'll be honest. I keep forgetting it's also an exterminate, so I need to actually go around eliminating everybody. Is that a headshot? Sure can. Just get you stupid hound dog. Well, <laughs> that's what I get. I didn't. <laughs> Looking back, that was stupid of me to to try to do the execute because um, yeah, my shield broke beforehand and that execute was like two seconds. So my shield gate was active while I was doing the execute, which is just kind of... In, for, in hindsight, yeah, that I shouldn't have done that. That was very stupid, because I just wasted all the shield gate that I had, so... Wow, these guys are freaking hard, man. I know I'm, like, also not playing Hyrule properly right now. I, mean, I can guarantee you that much. see it on the map. I'm not going back for it, though. I'm not going for, like, all the Cephalon or Tilmacord data yet. I might start doing that soon, actually. I, don't know. I feel up to being in a collectionist sort of mood. We'll see. Interesting. 
this whole time this person's been a wisp and they just didn't use keyboard's not working. I have a fix for it, but it might cause the stream to lag, so bear with me a moment here, okay? So to kind of explain what just happened there, um, my laptop, when it gets too hot, the keyboard doesn't work. So one of the fixes is that I put in standby mode by just tapping the power button. I tried that and it just didn't go to standby mode. I think because probably the stream was running and stuff. So I turned it off completely and turned it back on and it took that long to actually get there. So, you know. around make sure that I'm caught up on the stream side as well yeah pretty pretty there okay so we'll see what happens 
we'll go do the next mission. We'll do a capture on this. Fingers crossed everything works well for the remainder of the stream today. our target are you serious <laughs> yes I full sent that why is the capture target flying have to do this the old-fashioned way, huh? somehow supposed to be able to capture this guy. He's midair. I should have waited. Maybe if I can try to land on him. It's such a weird thing that I have to do. What is this? Him, this will be it's like MLG status right here. Yeah, <laughs> this is so jank, but I love it. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Don't kill me. Yeah, there we go. We did it. Everything's fine. Oh, now you want me to kill everything after what I just been through. I am just... 
This mission is cursed, I feel like. Holy cow. I know this is back at the beginning, but there's like nobody else over here and they don't want to try to like find my way through the exit, so. Plus I never killed those guys earlier, so they count toward the overall kill. Which is half the reason why on like a capture mission, I don't try to kill any targets because I just have this weird feeling a lot of the time that Lotus is gonna have me do this stupid section of it. Also getting a lot better at wall latching these days too. Because I'm willingly adding it to my repertoire of skills. Unless it was the guy I just saw Lotus, um, I got to do a lot better than that. I'm gonna have to do this, but it's nice that they have that as a thing in the level, you know? was just strange but hey we did it we never had to capture target that was stuck in midair no ground underneath them at all that was strange all right what do we got next uh how angry is she now Fuming, so nothing too crazy. I know that sounds crazy to say, like, oh, they're fuming. That's it's not bad, actually. What? Sabotage. Sure. Oh, there's a team for this one. Nice. Team of one other. I'll take it. Just so it's not me the entire time, I'm fine with one other person. on Ordis. I really do. It's a funky little quirk that I enjoy quite a bit. I think my ally just nuked this thing and I just stole it from them. Oh boy. It's Hydroid. That 
is mine. Alright. Get out of here. Give me your secrets. Yeah, I got it all. Nice. Um. <laughs> we don't talk about it. We just move on. Game does not have a single flaw whatsoever. Perfect game, as far as I'm concerned. Um, if you believe otherwise, I'd like to kindly disagree with you. <laughs> Does that sound like the biggest bottle of copium anybody's ever had? Perfect game. Oh my gosh. Alright, I'll, I'll destroy the reactor. Wait a minute. Now, turn your attention to the reactor core. Locate the console and then. Oh, it's already fried us. <laughs> uh. Get away from them, all of you! You take your dirty hands off them right now! Right. Auto hack, baby. This will take a few moments. Do not allow Alex personnel to reverse the sequence. stab the sister of Parvos. I'm like, it, I did. <laughs> also would be like, check the VOD. personality as they evolve what I think it's this one and then we'll try these two let's see what happens there's a different person there that was strange So what, what does this say? Trainee advising Imagineer in charge of agglomeration business affairs. I like how they have like this huge title too. And like little quirks like prone to vertigo. <laughs> so funny to me. It gives them more character than just like, yeah, they're, they're a target. Go kill them, you know, sort of thing. Uh, we're starting to get into the upper territory of what I'm comfortable with outside of meme builds, 75 to 90. I can fight level 100s, no issue. I just, I don't know. Just, today is a... Uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, what 
was saying about people. I hate when people just assume things. Oh, you didn't stab it, huh? It's like, I don't know what you saw on your side, but um, I saw two floating guns. I didn't see a person. stuff I never assume with people even though I could assume so much about people in my line of work things I've done in my life uh, I was told never to assume what somebody's telling you always clarify information it's just kind of how I am so when people are like oh you didn't do that huh it's like first off I don't know what you're talking about second off stop you know projecting or stop assuming because you're not doing anything good for yourself and uh, maybe clarify some information for once in your life. Because this game, as far as I'm concerned, is completely unglitched. There's not a single problem with this game in the slightest. Sister Parvos glitching after you execute? No, oh, can't happen. Completely unheard of game is flawless. Not a single issue in the world. Not to mention that literally, <clears throat> literally earlier, uh, they did another hotfix. Hotfix number five, ever since Dagath came out. Like, the game is, uh, I'm not going to say the most stable <laughs> right now, but you know, it's, it creates for content. It's a, it's a good vessel for content, that's for sure. Otherwise, I wouldn't be streaming it. This is the most popular thing on the face of Earth? No, but... I'm having fun with it. At the end of the day, that's kind of all that I care about. You wanna watch me stream and play, ask questions, or just chill with some good music? I mean, you do you. And I'll just flop over dead. <laughs> 75 to 90, baby. That's <laughs> like the extent of what I'm good at, apparently. Non, non meme built frames, I'll say. Holy. forgot that uh, my two not only does it heal me it also gives me fire rate bonuses as well because this the incarnum is a little broken when I mean, you have extra fire rate like this so we'll take it oh I almost have it feels like I almost have like a wisp buff not gonna lie Stab it real quick. It's just to make the uh, sister angry at this point. Freaking little fires, man. I hate those guys. Bop, bop. Oh my gosh. Here, fine. You want to shoot me? Shoot me. Go ahead. Nullifier stepped close, remove my buff. It's so toxic. I hate Nullifier so much. Can't do anything until the door gets up there anyway, or the elevator gets up there anyway, so it's all good. I swear to the Lord, if you were any dumber, you'd be a I, and maybe I want to be a rock. You ever think about that? 
If you could be a mineral, here's the question of the day. What mineral would you be? Iron, gold, copper, diamond? Well, diamond's not. It's a mineral. Me personally? Um, I was going to say tungsten because it's very, very dense. Uh, that implies things about me. Uh, I can be dense, I'll put it that way, so. But then again, like, I, I've learned to be flexible in, more so like, not like yoga flexible, right? Not like muscular flexible, but more just like, as a person, the elder I've gotten, I've been able to be more flexible when it comes to certain things. Capture the target. I left my ally and there was a dropship, like a huge dropship that just landed a bunch of guys. Oh no, he's here with me, nice. He's, he's Fire because of the shiny, glossy glow in caves. Fair enough. Um. Ah, that's why I died. That's toxin damage. Go 
for the swoop D. You know, I respect it. He's like, you know, I need my weapon first. I respect that. I do. Part of me is like, what is he doing? Hey, Jenny. Welcome to the stream. And yeah, uh, if you want to listen to the music too, I do have it linked in, uh, as a pinned comment. If you want to listen to the whole thing. It's a two-hour Zelda and Chill trilogy. It's like a lo-fi Zelda thing. Pretty good. listening to other video game music remixes like this or some, I'll, I'll dabble in like listening to some copyright music here and there but usually it's like an instrumental sort of music really Sabotage, excavation, mobile defense, rescue. Uh, mm, mm. Find survival? I don't really. Eh. Unless I find a squad, I'm not doing that. Mobile defense? Eh, fine. This will be fine. I wish I was actually Revenant. And I could play as Saren, but not really familiar too much with Saren's. Saren, like early on, she's really, really good. I haven't been able to figure out how to play her in like medium to high levels, 50s, 70s, you know, somewhere around there. Like this kind of music, soothing. It is very soothing. It helps keep me going instead of getting frustrated allies or the game. Today has been more of the game messing with me than other people, thankfully. I thought of pizza. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something. So I've been watching a lot of Weston Champlin. Uh, and he, there's a tool called the Zaza. So when I see Za, that's what I think of as the Zaza. Let me just switch in three if you need me. And we'll have fun. If anybody wants to watch too, uh, Gary the Gamer is my brother. Uh, he is going to be... Oh gosh. He streams a lot of other games too, but he is going to stream Splatoon 3, so feel free to go check him out if you want. Uh, either for people watching now or people watching later as a VOD. Ay, ay, ay. 
just, just don't. So don't. Okay, that was really risky. Is this gonna pay off? We're about to find out. Maybe not as much as I would have liked. There's so many corpus here. It wasn't enough, really? Avos Granum! Would you go away, old man? Literally slowed me every Thursday for the most part. It's more than me, I'll be honest. You stop. You all. Ah! The freaking old man. All right, I need, I need more AOE. I do. I talked about Saren, but I don't really want to go as Saren. I'm like hitting the upper limit of what I can do with Harrow because I don't really understand him too well. So we'll go back to meme territory of Rhino. But let me make sure I have the right build because I've changed some things. We'll go with this one. All right. Uh, do I have the Nataruk? I have the Boomba. That's nice. You know, we'll just we'll go survival, I guess. I don't want to, but might as well. Cease and desist. As long as I don't run into the nullifiers field, I should be okay. And by that, I mean if the nullifiers don't just decide to YOLO me, I should be okay. Oh, and if I, you know, have energy, because that, that's something else that might happen. Which is why I'm running the build where it only costs 20 energy. But at the same time, like imagine if each one was 50, because it usually is. That would not go well. I also hope I don't run out of, well, I'm about to find out what's gonna happen. Ran out of uh, bullets. It's late on time until I get my bullets back. I think a barrel just exploded my tough skin. Not good. Near the end of the uh, Sisters of Parvos, I, I do have to go Rhino, unfortunately. The survivability makes him just, in my opinion, god tier, but. Until I can get a Naros completely built. Oh, there she is. Not Oxy. Normal person reflected in a puddle. Nice witty. One liner. Zany. Lotus, 
I have other issues to worry about. Like, I cannot do enough damage to actually keep her shields off long enough. So there's that. Is it though? Did I do a massive crit or something? I, I don't understand why she went down there. I had 23,000 top skill. What the? Be embarrassing for you. Good. Buff's good. I just need to, I think, finish the mission, really. This is going to be rough. Don't you freaking... You burn my shield that quick? Are you serious? Not really my shield, my tough skin. I'm just trying to focus long enough to get her... Here we go, baby. Nice. Okay. Neptune Proxima. That is totally fine with me. Did she summon a version of me? Or what was that? Was that a version of me? Is that why? That actually could have been why... I was taking so much damage. There was a version of me, like a mini me, that was attacking me. We survived though. I just need to get out of here. And pop this just so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, excuse me, pardon me, very unprofessional, sorry. What? I know, stop, please, derping out. <laughs> Not what I meant to say. Please stop derping out. Please derping out, stop. Yep, that sounds about my uh, brain function today. Alright. Ool. <laughs> I meant to be like, oh, I got an ool, but it was like, ool. Okay. Thanks, Lotus. Appreciate you. Okay, we got another ool. This is a uh, an any amount. So if I just wanted to like speed run these, uh, as long as I have three ools back to back to back, I can just do whatever I need to. Uh, I'm gonna go as Harrow on this because I'm I'm trying to learn how to play him at higher difficulties. It's just not going very well. I'll be honest. All right, so I'm going to go over to Neptune. She is right here. And there apparently already is a mission in progress. These tend to be one of two ways, I'll be honest. Completely and utterly scuffed, where everybody is dying and it's just not a fun time. Or everybody is just on point. They know what they're doing. They go from point A to point B. There's no like room for tomfoolery. We just... Boom, 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 boom. Everything's done. So we'll see on a scale of one to, uh, or, or on a scale of completely useless to godlike, my allies are going to be like. We'll find out if it loads. If it loads. There it goes. Uh, okay. Is this my real jack? Why 
traitors that aren't even fighting yet. Do I need a chalkboard? Okay, where? We need to destroy nodes. Where? Yeah, oh, the ship's right here. Everybody's inside. the The railjack is invulnerable, so it doesn't really matter. Provided everybody gets inside. Yeah. All right, here we go. So now there's not just mine. There's everybody else's. I was like, where'd she go? Uh, Necromech is not better, but you know, I can at least deploy it. So that's a cool thing. I'll make it seem like I do a lot of damage. Like, wow, look at that. Poof, 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 you know. Hey, Future Slayer, they were a guy I was just with. <laughs> She's still invulnerable. Is it, there's a specter nearby or something? Radiation damage, huh? Seems pretty fun. Does that dude have like a mod or something that somebody just needs to tap them and they're up? Is that what that? Is? I remember this guy's uh, lich now. I, I remember. A priotic cocktail? Is that what I heard? Oh, she's dead. 
<laughs> the audio of the game is completely messed up. Also not mine. Oh, this is all gone wrong. Why do you have to make me choose between you and Mr. Parvos? You know that's no choice I can make. Sister, your desire has been rewarded with protection from Brother Parvos. Deploying you... mm. May they be what? <laughs> That is annoying. Uh, uh, I was, I am so, that is not my weapon. I thought it was. So, can we just... No, we can't. Uh, go down, please. Thank you. Send the complimentary GGs. That's how it's done. Streamline. Uh, in and out. Just surgical. Team knows what we're doing. We're covered a quarter of a million. A quarter of a million credits. From all the different missions that I did that she was on and she just took money from me, like nine tenths of whatever I earned. I just realized too, I need to get the void rig up. <sighs> God. 
gosh, I formed it. I don't like that I did that, but it needed to be done. Ah, I have enough forma though right now to do the weapons that I was gonna do, the uh, Vandal and the Diplos, so. sipping on my coffee from this morning from like four plus hours ago. Alright, so here we go. I got another hound and then I have a, uh, another Diplos. So now let me see if I understand this, right? So if I go Diplos, I can claim it, right? I have one already. So now if I head over to here, uh, I'm going to go do the level up one because it's easier than having to equip it and everything. Go to upgrade, go to actions. I can now Valence Fusion this. And it's only going to go slightly up. Well, I'm going from 25 to 37, so I guess it's not that bad. Hmm. Now, if I were to take maybe the one that's non formed and throw it, throw the uh, like the formed one on top of it. I wonder if that would, like how that would work. But I'm going to go ahead and fuse this because 37% is better, in my opinion. So I do need an Orkin Catalyst still. So if somebody wants to buy some Aya, I can do that real quick. Um, I believe I have. Six, so I can sell a. Uh, want to sell a uh, uh, six eighteen flat, and just get at that. Let's see if we get any takers. Because I believe. Um, the Vandal, I believe I, I think it comes with a, yeah, it does. So I just need this to also have one. It's the only thing I'm really missing and then I just need to level them up and do all the four month stuff. That's about it. Three of those. Uh, let me see if this guy wants it. Narrow-minded at uh, zero. This is kind of what I do when I need to like get platinum. So before I go too far, it is for 13 plat. Um, if I head over to, is it this one? No, it's not. It's this. This one. It's narrow minded on the market. People are selling this for like, wait a minute. Okay, out of a zero out of, zero out of 10, So narrow minded, there are people that want to buy it. Zero out of 10 for upwards of eight plat. So that guy was wanting to buy a zero out of 10 for 18. Uh, if I can get it to 10 out of 10, there are people that want to spend more than 60 plat on it. Big issue, a big issue, right? Uh, I could technically sell 
two of these. But I don't have the credits for that. So probably a three round at the index I can do it. I can't do Profit Digger. I don't have the... I just don't have the firepower to do it. I might be able to survive if I if I can get her to like do do enough damage to cause the next you know stage to happen faster. Then I wouldn't have to survive or have that much survivability. So there is that. Root of Prime systems. Do I have Root of Prime systems? No, I have normal though. I have chassis. business that's what I need to do because like the most I can do is sell mods right now and it's not really that great one of my rolling guard r10 times by two is 65 each see I have a rolling guard at um, r9 right now I could go to 10 and then sell it and then just use like a normal rolling guard Platinum. Me too, man. We're all looking for that. Rhyme rounds. Ten plats. Ugh. That's not good. I've sold rhyme rounds for over 20 before. People are selling a three out of three rhyme rounds for... 25 on the low end what's crazy to me uh, there is somebody offering rhyme rounds 10 of them rank zero for 65 flat a pop it's crazy arcane arcane any ribbons for what to buy bite Cephalon Suda Hydroid Augment Mods 10 plat each. If only I had that. I don't. Vampire Leech. Can't do Trinity stuff. Um, one of my ribbons. Brief Respite. I know I have that because I use it. Ugh, excuse me. Swift Bite. I just need to get my ranking up a little bit, but I can't because daily standing is done. So I can't do that for at least another couple hours. Uh, want to buy Necro Mesh Robot. Alright, cool. Theorem Infection? It's, uh, it's a theorem, never mind. Same thing as Arcanes. I uh, want to buy a bunch of different things here.
I'm really tempted to take the guy up on the rolling guard, 65 plat, because it doesn't take much to actually get rolling guard. A lot of people might think, I mean, it's one of the, like the, the highest used mod for late game because anytime that you can just get invulnerability, even if it's temporary, it's just insane. Uh, on Warframe Marketplace, uh, the highest one, somebody won 65 plat for a 10 out of 10. That's where I've seen it then. I was like, I, I know I've seen that before. 75,000 standing, by the way. So you're you're paying 75,000 standing for 60 plat, essentially. It's not bad, but... I wanna buy, I wanna buy, I wanna sell. set for 15 plat. Hmm. I really want to take this guy up on the 65 plat offer. Uh, want to buy... What the heck is this? Selecta. Oh, the, you want the Penta? I hate that weapon. Fair enough if you want it, you know, but I... Oof. Full price one plan one. So I'm selling hammer shot for a hundred plat. You know, I can't say I blame you. <laughs> Is it a bit overkill? Yeah, but Let's go and do something else more productive with my life. Uh, that is trying to get more Diplos, because you can never have enough. That's the lie I tell myself. Um, let me show you guys how you guys go about getting a Sister of Parvos if you don't have one. Um, I think I'll keep that, because single target damage is going to be good here. So what you do is uh, you go to solo, because even if you have more people, it starts to get a little tough. You head over to Pluto, and you go to Hydra, which is a capture mission. This process is very simple. Um, you look for a gold hand. If it happens to be before, like well before you find your capture target, hop inside, use the Zenith coin, which is the third one. If you don't have any, uh, the coin guy spawns here all the time. You just need to wait. So like for instance, there's a hand right here, right out the gate. So I'll hop inside, do this. It's as simple as this. You have to kill some specters, throw your Zorus, and then use the uh, heavy melee attack to absorb the specter's essence. Or you can throw it directly at him too. That also works. And after you get three, you can then heavy attack to cause basically like a nuke. Uh, you can then throw it at the SU units, the Solaris United people. And uh, never called them units before a day in my life. But um, you can then do that. I was trying to grab that, but there's too many guys here. Uh, 
my gosh, would you just throw the stupid thing? Okay, we're just gonna die, apparently. That reset the Zorus too, didn't it? No, it didn't. It's unlike other things that reset when you die, the Zorus doesn't. All you need for this is 25 kills. You do not need any more. You could just continually just throw it out and spam the explosion whenever more pop up. But you know, I also want to go and get Solaris United because you do also get fa uh, faction standing with them for freeing these guys. And it has to have a charged uh, like Nova as well. I did get all three. Wait, what? All right, well, we'll just try to get 75 so we can speed up this process. If not, it's fine too. Uh, if you want to get Protea parts as well, this is the way to do it. You need to get 75 kills, so the third, third reward available to you on all three levels of the, the hand. There's like a lesser level, level one, level two, level three. Uh, the Zenith coin, what we just used, that was level three. Now we just go after the capture targets. Uh, if you've already done the capture target, you don't want to go like straight to extraction right away because the sister of Parvo sometimes doesn't like to spawn near the end of the level. So you don't want to go too close to the end. So this is the process here where she immediately goes Pavos round this is the candidate so you have to find the candidate and well nuke her pretty much and then unlike normal you get to choose so it's a flux rifle I don't want it so I don't need to execute like the lich you kind of get what you get and you don't get to really choose this you actually can uh the old man with a coin he appears at some point um i've seen as early as two and a half minutes i've seen as late as like five so so it really comes down to whenever he decides i'm gonna spawn now but you get your coin back and then you just rinse and repeat this until you get the one that you want. In my case, I'm going for the Diplos, so I'm just going to re-roll until I get the Diplos. And this is how you spawn the sister that I actually just got done doing, so... I'm doing this because the... Oh, Void Trace is nice. The guide that I've been following for the Profit Taker thing, it's says that you want to have a Diplos with about 60% magnetism. So that's kind of what I've been doing. Uh, it was like 25%, now it's 37, I think, or 24 before the fusion just now. So we just rinse repeat this until I get the Diplos. This can take a while, depending on what you're going for. If you just want to get everything, then I mean, there's that too, but... Flux Rifle is one of the ones I originally, like, I, I first was going for. Yeah, it didn't really work out. I think I just saw a hand back there. I did. You can't interact with the console if there's enemies nearby, so you do have to kill them. So, yeah, 75 kills. Uh, this is how you get Protea if you wanted to go for Protea. And it's random, too. It's not like you're guaranteed to get Protea upon doing this, you know. Okay, I'm using bow because it's a lot easier. Okay, 
I got the SU people over here. Are we gonna head over here? say to uh, if you have Mesa you just get to like right here and they just blitz literally everything as they show up it's another thing you can do here Triangles they drop do also increase time. So when you get the Solaris United people, you get an additional 10 seconds for every one. Uh, these pyramids add another five seconds to your timer. So if you wanted to make sure that you can get the Protea, that's what you would do. There we go, 76. Just like that tier three reward, which is possibility for Protea. I think I already have this one, but I just wanted to show it off to you guys. So. skills that help pay the bills, you know what I'm saying? I this guy would make up his mind. He's like, he didn't want to attack me, he wanted to run, then he turned around and attacked me. Random. I heard you wanted a coin. I'm waiting for that guy to show up. One side I like that you can choose what weapon, you know, you can choose, oh, this is, you know, the Zenith, I want that, or this is, you know, or not Zenith. <laughs> uh, the Flux Rifle, I want this, or the Plasma, or I think it is. You, you get to choose what you want. On the other side, it sucks, because it can take a while to actually get the roll that you need. Technically, it's better than Kuva Lich, though, because the Lich, you know, you basically get what you get. I don't think there's a way that you can cheese it. I haven't really looked into it, though, so don't quote me on that. Remember, we 
these guys get over here. spot that's pretty easy to actually do. I die for your stupid crown. sitting on the floor.
don't have something or like a frame like Mesa, uh, I will say that it can be quite difficult to get all of it, but it's not impossible. A lot of it really is dependent on RNG and how the game spawns and when it decides to spawn extra enemies. So there's that. Close. Excellent work. Terry, Walker is done here. That's great. Harvest Granon, your sacred tokens shall remain secure from the grasp of the idol. I love how you can backlog so much of the like the game's lines. It's ridiculous. Like, there's no check the game does to be like, okay, well the guy's already dead, so let's not play his voice line sort of a thing, you know? Plus I do, I mean, I'm getting 600 endo every time. It's not the most, but it's like five minutes for 600 endo, give or take. It's not bad, if you ask me. don't want to go to the end of the level, I'll be honest.
there no hand on this mission? Or is it like at the very end? Sorry about that. Was there seriously no hand on this entire mission? chance that I, I could have missed it I just didn't really care to go back and double check everything I already did that so if there was nothing then if there was something then I didn't find it anyways move on do it again hope for Diplos
one off from high rank. I don't need it, but still try to. Just a flex. Shield gate. That's cool, actually. So it's a 65% increase of fire rate and a like 130 for reload. That's what I was curious about was how much of that. But that ability allows me to life steal. So I might lose all my shield but in the process, but I will also be able to life steal and use that. Interesting. So when one gives me shields, two strips all my shields away but gives me all those boosts. Mainly the fire rate with the Latum. I need to remember it for like bosses and stuff, but there's no toxin nearby immediately. Or if there is, hopefully there's enough enemies I can kill and you know regenerate. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to add more max HP to him. But like most of the time anyways, uh, a, a lot of my builds are very squishy. I, I don't have like extra HP, extra shields for the most part. There, just want to make sure. The hand right there. Right, let's go and do this.
Mission complete. The captive has been escorted to the extraction point. Well done. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Hit the button. We got a two for one. Uh, this is part of doing the actual thing. I think this is the, could be the second level reward. It could be first, I'm not sure. But there's a chance where you get a second uh, crown when doing this, trying to get one of the, the right candidate. I'll do one more on stream. And then after that, I'll probably call the stream at that point, to be honest with you. This isn't the most engaging thing I know. Um, just kind of rolling until I get the one I want. But if you ever have any questions about Sisters of Parvos, this is how you do it. And there is prerequisite quests. You have to have done the uh, Tempestari mission. It's a Railjack related mission. I think it's what starts the Sevagoth grind. I think. Um, that's the only thing you really have to do. So do the main story up to that. There's other main story things and side story stuff that you also have to do, but that's the big one is you have to do the uh, Tempest story. As long as you've done that and anything that, you know, you have to do before unlocking it, then you're good. You can do this. If you don't, um, you can do like the, uh, the big golden hand room, the grand void. You can do those. It's just you won't be able to actually get the candidate. You'll finish like level one reward at least, and then nothing will happen. You'll still get the old guy spawning. Why? Why every time I'm like, oh, this will be the last one, and it's always, always an exterminate. Shields, most of them are this. The beauty thing too with my Oxalis, provided he stays alive, he uh, gives my Warframe all of my shields back at least one time. It might be like 700, but pretty darn close to all my shields. I have stagger resist, but that was the one time that it decided it wasn't going to work for me. Bravo's Granum! mission just don't just don't make my feeling be right <sighs> it might be right oh it's not right like watch I'm gonna go through all this just to not get a, a hand down after all this
I'll just need to just not exist. All right, how about that? The attack speed thing. <sighs> it's, the more shields you have, the better it is, right? So I can get it to like 3k. <laughs> the issue with the Latum and why I don't use it for this is um, you can just kill the Spectres straight up with it. Like that. You can actually block with it. No, I'm now noticing that. Oh, now it won't me. You make me look like a fool. I was able to, though. There's video evidence. I did it. Spectral debris. That's also where you get it. Got it. Alright, so I've already killed the treasurer, dude. I just need to get the candidate very close to the end, so I don't know if she'll actually spawn around here somewhere. I've heard in red that if you go too close to the end, they don't actually like the spawn, so sometimes backtracking a little bit is nice. To remember your tenants. Brother Parvels is watching. If you mean to rise from the decadent morass, the corpus don't care. Prove yourself to me. Don't care. That that was the end of the end of the attempts. I, I'm I'm done. I, I don't want to do any more. We're done. Alright. So that is all that I had planned for today, or I mainly just wanted to get this off. That was about it. But, uh, yeah, I did a bunch of other stuff too. I guess why not? For now, I, that, that literally is all I'm going to do. So I'm just going to close out and then just end the stream here. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the stream, leave a like down below. Let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see me do. All things considered, uh, with like Warframe or maybe other games. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, from here on out in the future, I know that I, I my stream schedule is very, if I feel like it, I'll do it. Uh, otherwise, I won't. So, I don't know. I'm probably just, I'm really tired, so I'm probably just going to go take a nap real quick. Anyways, 
Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you all. Uh, go check out my brother, by the way, Gary the Gamer. Go check out his channel. He still is live at the moment. He's playing some Splatoon 3. Um, just go watch him for a bit. Hang out with him. I would appreciate that. And I know he does, too. So, uh, Until next time, uh, stay safe. Take it easy. And God bless.